On this video, I will show you on how to calculate or on how to insert geometric means on a geometric sequence. Just like on arithmetic mean, on geometric mean, we are going to insert terms or numbers between the first and the last terms. Since this is a geometric sequence, therefore, the terms must have a common ratio. Therefore, we need to solve for the common ratio. So, for example, insert 5 geometric means between 1 half and 32. Basically, our geometric sequence must look like this. So, the set of, so our first term is 1 half. Then, let us insert 5 terms or 5 numbers so, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then we have the last term which is 32. So, as, I've, as I have said a while back, we are going to solve for the common ratio. So, we are going to use the formula on geometric sequence. So, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Where a sub n is the last term, a sub 1 is the first term, r is the common ratio, and n is the total number of terms. So on our geometric sequence, the a sub n or the last term is 32. So that will be 32 is equal to a sub 1 which is the first term and that is 1 half so that will be 1 half times r which is the missing one so r raised to n which is the total number of terms so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms so that will be 7 minus 1 then let us simplify it further. So, copy 32 is equal to 1 half times r raised to 7 minus 1, which is 6. Then, in order for 1 half to be removed, let us divide both sides of the equation by 1 half. So, that will be 1 half that will be divided by 1 half. As we can see, on this side of the equation, 1 half divided by 1 half is equal to 1. Then multiplied by r raised to 6, so that will only be r raised to 6. So on the other side of the equation, so 32 divided by 1 half. So basically, how many 1 halves does 32 have? So, ilang one-half ang meron sa 32? So, basically, we have 64 one-halves on 32. Then, we have r raised to 6 is equal to 64. So, we are not done yet computing for our common ratio. Because, as you can see, r still have its exponent which is 6. So in order for us to remove the exponent 6, we need to apply roots. So we need to apply 6 root in order to eradicate or to omit the exponent 6. So that will be the 6 root of r raised to 6. Since I've applied 6 root on this side of the equation, I also need to apply 6 root on the other side of the equation. So that will be 6 root of 64. So 6 root of r raised to 6, so the exponent 6 will be cancelled. So what is left is r. Then we have the 6 root of 64. 6 root of 64 is equal to 2. Because when 2 will be raised to 6, that will be equal to 
64. So if you have a calculator, you can compute for the 6 root of 64. So find this one. So shift, then that one, shift, one. Then let us insert 6 and 64. So that will be equal to 2. So we have already the value of our R. What we need to do now is to multiply the common ratio on the terms inside the geometric sequence. So this will be 1 half multiplied by 2 which is equal to 1. Then 1 times 2 will be 2. 2 times 2 will be 4. 4 times 2 will be 8. 8 times 2 will be 16. So that is what we call geometric mean.